Okay, hello and welcome to IGCSE Tube. Uh, this is part number two of uh, chapter number 14, Organic Chemistry. Let me get the highlighter. Uh, all right, okay, so organic uh, chemistry. If you haven't watched part number one, please go and watch it because it's really important in order for you to understand what I'm going to explain in part two. Um, I really want to apologize for my like tone because like I have a really bad flu and I think it shows on my voice. Uh, but like hopefully I'll try to make the video as clear as possible. So in part one of organic chemistry, we talked about homologous series, uh, what it means, what are the different characteristics, and we also mentioned that alkanes form uh, a homologous series. So in this video, uh, we will be talking about, I think I should zoom out a bit. Okay, so in this video, we will be talking about uh, the series of alkanes and the different alkanes. So N is basically uh, the number of carbon atoms. As we said, the general formula uh, of alkanes, let me remind you. This, the general formula of, ouch, sorry. Uh, so let me get the pen. All right, uh, so the general formula of alkanes is C, uh, wait, I'm sorry. It is CnH2n plus 2. That's the general formula which we discussed in the previous video. And we also talked about what is meant by general formula and so on. So when n is equal to 1, the molecular formula is CH4. It's very easy to figure out the number four because uh, obviously there is a one here. As we said in the previous video, when it's a one, you don't, you don't write it down. So it's a four here. So when you put like, it to the formula, it is two uh, times one, which is the number of carbon atoms, which is two plus two gives you a four. It's pretty easy. It's simple and straightforward. The condensed formula, in this case, only in the case of methane, is CH4, but we will uh, see in the in ethane, and propane, and butane, and so on that the condensed formula is a different thing than the molecular formula. And you need to, like with the exam, they tell you write the condensed formula, write the structural formula, write the molecular formula. They're all different. It's not the same. So please, like, take note of that. As we said, the name obviously is methane, and we touched upon naming alkanes in the previous video. So it's a methane. So obviously, ane comes from the fact that it's uh, an alkane. At the state, it is a gas. And for the structure, so we have like one carbon atom and there are four hydrogen atoms around it. As we said also in the previous video, carbon uh, in the valence shell has like four electrons. So it has the ability uh, to have four more uh like four more, uh, like it can share four more electrons or like receive four more electrons. So uh, some of you will ask, why is it drawn like this way? Like the H are like horizontal. You can do that as well. Uh, but that's usually how it's presented in the textbooks. And like in the exam, like in a kind of like a triangular down there. But anyways, like don't dwell on that too much. It's not really important. Okay, so when we come to N is equal to 2, when you, uh, the molecular formula, you'll get C2H6, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2 it is 6. Here, we're going to see the difference between molecular formula and condensed formula. Basically, the condensed formula is, you know, a con like a condensed version of the structure. Because when you see here, you have like C, it's C, and you have like, three H's on this carb attached to this carbon atom and like three H's condensed to this uh attached to this carbon atom. So you'll do CH3 and there is this connection, this bond, and then another carbon with uh th three H's. So that's basically the condensed formula. It's just like a, a condensed version of the structure. It's like more uh like uh how can I say that? It's like it's more um uh, descriptive than the like molecular formula kind of and as we said the name is ethane because when you have like two carbon atoms you take uh this prefix the eth uh 
it is also a gas. Uh, basically, from n equal 1 to 4 in alkanes, uh, they are gases. Okay, next we have when... I'm sorry if it's, like, too much and, like, too messy, but I hope it's, like, kind of clear. So, n is equal to 3. So, again, so C is 3 and H is 8 because it's 2 times 3 plus 2, which is 8. As for the, this is the molecular formula. As for the condensed formula, again, it is kind of like, so draw out the structure and do the condensed formula. Or, like, you know, for these simple ones, you don't need to. But, like, just, like, as practice for the first few times. So for the first C, you have like uh, three hydrogen atoms attached, which is here. And then you have here two hydrogen atoms. And for the last one, you have three hydrogen atoms. And of course, there is these bonds between uh, the three carbon atoms. It's called propane. Again, we talked about the naming of alkanes in the previous video. And it's also a gas. And this is the structure. So we talked about the. So you have the N, you have the molecular formula, the condensed formula, the name, the states, which is like, is it a gas, a solid, or a liquid? Which in this case, from one to three, it is all gases. And the structure, as you can see here. Okay. Let's go to when N is equal to four. So when N is equal to four, it is C4H10. Again, uh, just for practice, it is two times four plus two. So that's eight plus two that gives you the 10. For the condensed formula, uh, like, you need to know that in the middle, the carbons that are in the middle, they have only two hydrogen atoms, okay? Because they're basically connected to, uh, to like, a carbon from here and a carbon from here. So that's, like, two carbon from, like, the ones in the middle, you have a carbon from to the right and to the left, so you can only accommodate two hydrogen. So the ones in the middle only have, like, two hydrogens. And the ones uh, at the corner are like they have three because you have here H, H, and H. So you have kind of like uh, the capacity to take three hydrogens. So that's kind of an easy way to know the condensed formula. The ones at the corner have three hydrogens. The ones in the middle have like two hydrogens. But obviously you can always draw out the structure to kind of like uh, know the condensed formula. Uh Obviously, it's called butane, and the state is a gas. However, however, butane exhibits something known as isomerism, which is really important for you to know, and it's included in the syllabus. If you go back to the syllabus, you need to know what isomerism means. So let's see what isomerism means. Isomerism means, uh, or it, it is defined as the property of different compounds. So these are different compounds. They have the same molecular formula, that is, let's say it is C4H10. They have the same molecular formula, but different structure. They have a different uh, structure. Let's see how. So, this is butane. So, when you draw the structure, you have the four carbon atoms. Each has, like, four bonds around it. So, this has one, two, three, and four. And this also has one, one, two, one, two, three, four. And like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. However, let's say we take like a carbon atom, like we remove one from here. And this is, by the way, it's called the normal butane, which is like all spread out. We take this one and put it here above another carbon atom. So if you put it here, obviously it's making a bond with this one. And it needs three other ones with hydrogen. Okay, so it has like a total of four. Let's check. So we need C4H10. Let's check if we have like 10 hydrogens. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So it still works. So basically, this is called isobutate, which is so it has like the same molecular formula that is the same number of carbon atoms, same number of hydrogen atoms, but excuse me, uh, they have a uh, different structure. So this is like structure number one. And this is structure number two. So uh, let's zoom this in a bit. Uh, okay. So it's either called isobutane or it's called 2-methylpropane. Why it's called 2-methylpropane? So obviously having three carbon atoms is known as propane. However, they aren't all hydrogens. We have here... 
kind of like a, a weird kind of like an extra bra like a different branch which is different than the hydrogens so this is called methyl because it's one carbon atom and from where does the two come from the two comes from the fact it is on the second carbon atom so that's where the naming came from it is two methyl propane again why is it propane because you have three carbon atoms next to each other why the methyl because we here have a different branch it's not all hydrogens and we have like a carbon atom here so it's a methyl because it, it's what okay and uh two because it's on the second carbon atom so quick recap isomerism it is property of different compounds having same molecular formula but different structure i hope that was clear before i end this video i just want to uh, touch upon again the naming of alkanes when they're branched like in this case of like uh, isobutane so when you have so methane is ch4 however when it's a branch it will only be like so when we saw like in the case of butane here was the carbon and we had like the branched methane it's called methyl and it's ch3 because the fourth bond it is bonded to whatever other compound you know it could be like propane or butane down there and you have like an extra uh branch here so uh so it, it doesn't have like methane four h's because the fourth h is as i said the bond with whatever uh compound it is attached to same thing uh goes for your uh ethane when it's branched uh you take off one hydrogen and you just bond it c2h5 and it's called ethyl and same goes for propane it's propyl it's it's for, it's not h8 it's h7 and butyl also it's not h10 it's h9 so sometimes in mcqs they get for you this kind of like weird compound or whatever and they put here like c4h9 and they tell you that this compound is called let's say abc so they tell you name this compound and you go like, oh, I don't know what's that. No, it's super easy. It's called butyl ABC, you know, and uh, usually it will be put like uh, because you will ask about the numbering. Is it two, three or whatever? Uh, so, I mean, it will be clear. Maybe they will put it here, for example, C4H9. So you write like 2-butyl HBC, uh, I mean ABC. Um, okay, I think I want to end this video, but yeah, I just want to make a quick note. Um, let's see. I don't think, okay, we can cover this. This is pretty simple. So again, if for alkanes, uh, the NS5, it will be C5H12. You can figure out the math of that. And it's called pentane. Again, we talked about the naming in part number one. The boiling point is 35 degrees Celsius. You don't need to memorize the boiling points, but I will tell you now why I mentioned them um, in just a second. So when it's six, it's called C6H12. It's a hexane. Seven, C7H16, it's a heptane. Eight, it is C8H18, it's an octane. As you can see, as the number of carbon atoms increases in the alkane series, the homologous series of alkanes, the boiling point also increases. So that's just a thing to keep in mind. As the carbon atoms increase, the boiling point increases. One last thing before I end this video. Some of you will add isomerism, okay? the branch has to be like the, the the different branch it cannot be at the borders like you can't put whatever here like you know you can't put it this way you can't it has to be it shouldn't be at the corner it has to be in the middle that's why some people will ask me why propane cannot be an isomer like he will tell me oh i can have like a c and c and I have an H, 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 and H. Okay, so propane is C3H. Uh, 2 times 3 is uh, 6 plus 2, it is 8. Okay, so that's propane. And then you tell me, okay, I'm going to have like a the C here. Uh, okay, undo. 
and you have an H here. Let's count the H's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is still C3H8, and it has a different structure, like different than the one which is stretched out, like they're all next to each other. However, let me get a different color. However, when it's like isomer, you can't have this extra branch at the corner. You can't. It has to be in the middle. That's why isomerism in alkanes only shows up when n is greater than or equal 4. You need to keep that in mind. Because basically, if you have it at the corner, you can just stretch it out and put it here. It doesn't make any difference. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Isomerism is exhibited in alkanes when n is greater than or equal 4. I think this video is a bit long. However, I hope it's pretty clear and I'm really sorry for my voice tone. I have a really bad flu. As I always say, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post it in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I uh, hope to see you in the next video.